Hello guys, it's me again. So this time we're going to talk about Aruba installation, ClearPass installation and how to upgrade, how to download uh, ClearPass and what we need to do, what kind of licenses that we are going to need in this case. So the topics that we will cover, download and installation, we will then go and look at the licenses. Once we've done that, we would like to look at how to upgrade or when we have to, uh, to do upgrade and then we look at the enabling of the extension. Let's go. Now you log into your ASP account. Uh, now you have to be a partner here. If you need help, let me know. I'm more than happy. I will give you also a link at the end of the video so you can download a copy of the OVA. So here we are going to download the virtual appliance and we search for the clear pass and in this case we would like to download version 10 so scroll down a bit on the screen and the version that we would like to download is basically uh, the image or the image that is fit for the esxi that's our infrastructure so we're going to download that image once that gets downloaded it will be zipped in a zipped format so what we need to do is to extract it either at the time when you do the installation or beforehand so once you are uh, good with that, we can look at the licenses. So now we will also download and uh, create a, some evaluation licenses. So this will take us to uh, ClearPass, and this will take us to Aruba uh, support, support portal. So here we will go for the trial licenses. Now, if you are a partner, you can download trial licenses, um, and these are different licenses in terms of duration, uh, depending on the platform, we are going to talk about ClearPass here. So we will add multiple licenses. So we're going to select the version of that would be 6.8 and later. And we will be selecting four types of licenses in this case. We will select access license. We'll select the platform CX00V license. And we will select uh, onboard as well as on guard licenses. So these four licenses will be generated as you can see here. So we'll add, we'll be adding them one by one. Once you add all of them, we will create all of them in one go, basically one uh, at a time. Once you download them, once you create them, you would like to download them. So you're gonna download all of them together without any, uh, without any issues in this case. So you'll have all the licenses downloaded uh, and then they are ready to use um, in the installation. Here we're selecting the duration of the license. You could have selected 90 days um, or 180 days so uh, in all cases this is an eval licenses these are eval licenses so you can you cannot really reinstall eval licenses so now you click create you see a list of licenses that you would like to create in this case you'll go through the steps that you need to follow and the first thing you're going to create is the vm appliance the actual um, appliance that you are going to use without that VM license, you need one of them. Uh, without that VM license, you cannot operate that virtual appliance as um, as a clear pass. It will not work. And the fact that this is a kind of evaluation, we will download one license and that will be enough for the platform to become activated, if you like, in a way. Now, obviously, if that's a real uh, deployment, uh, you will have. Uh, uh, gone through the license purchase uh, process from Aruba, but uh, for demo POC, uh, for lab environment, uh, your home lab, you can do that uh, as evaluation license. Now, once you download these licenses, what I've done in, in this case, I copied them into Notepad++, so keep them on one side. Once we've done with the installation of the clear pass, what will happen, we're going to come back to this and we're going to copy the licenses one at a time. The first one we're gonna copy will be the platform license. Now we go to the ESXi. Now I presume that uh, going through this, that you already have a server, ESXi server. Now I'm showing you the settings on the server in the portal group. As per the documentation you have in the security, you have to enable promiscuous mode. Must be enabled on the portal group where um, the clear pass would be mapped to. So the interface for the clear pass would be mapped to the portal group. Um, in our case also, what we have decided to do, uh, clear pass comes with a, a must-have port uh, or interface that is management interface. 
uh, and uh, as an optional uh, interface would be data ports. They can be in one, net one network or two different networks, it doesn't really matter. So in this case, we are creating the virtual machine and we give it a name ClearPass 610, so to at least to have an indication what that ClearPass is. So this is a zip file. We will extract it. This is the downloaded one. We downloaded it from asp.arubanetworks.com. You download the file. You only need two of these, but I just highlight all of them. So you select uh, your data store. You accept the agreement, uh, agree to the terms and conditions, and then you go next. Now, one of the things I would like you to do to uh, turn off power on automatically, uh, change, I've changed the VM number two, and I made uh, the hard disk as a tech provisioning. And make sure that power on uh, is disabled. And the reason for this, we will uh, add another hard disk to clear pass before we run it. So we're gonna edit the settings for the newly uh, installed clear pass. And uh, we will have to go through, we'll add um, a hard disk. Obviously, this installation takes time, but I'm just, I sped it up. Um, so you go uh, add a virtual hardware, which is add a hard disk. And the hard disk in this case, uh, a thick provisioned hard disk, as you can see. And this is the original one. The original one is 30 gigabytes for, um, uh, for demo purpose, for the lab purpose, I will make this one only 300. So. If you need to look at the real sizes, it would be much larger in a real deployment. So 300 gigabyte and uh, 30 gigabyte. So once you've done this, you will start running the clear pass. Now, this is a Linux based product. Um, you need to be patient. It takes a bit of time. It does take time to install, to run the script internally. So now once you uh, connect to this clear pass will take time to set up. You get to a login screen, uh, default, uh, and you select now the VM, the appliance type. In our lab, we'll select number one, which is a virtual uh, lab environment. And we will not encrypt in this case, so we will not encrypt, not best practice, but we will not encrypt the hard disk, and that's because of uh, it's a lab environment. Um, the default username is app admin, and with a password e tips one two three lowercase e. T I P S uppercase one two three. These are this is or oh, these are the default credentials. So the Linux login, if you like, is app admin, and then we go through the scripts now. So enter the host name. The host name we entered did not accept the dot, so we're going to change it to slash. So we're going to just retype the host name here. Six ten, and then. It will ask you, it will go through a few steps or a few questions here. What is the management port IP? And that's the network 10254.1.23. Uh, In this case, default gateway, you'll provide the details here. Don't worry much about the IPv6. For the data port, again, we will have also a data port in a different subnet, in this case, in our case, and a different default gateway. Um, if you would like to make this one uh, publicly available, obviously you will do NATing to one of these interfaces. Normally we do it in the NAT data port. So data port will be public interface, public uh, interfacing. Here I would like to have a DNS. We have configured two DNS um, IP addresses. Uh, Slack, say no, this is for IBV6. They will ask you to have a new password. And it's highly recommended to configure the time zone, the time settings and the time zone. So here, would like to do automatic time uh, server in TP. I'm using the public one, the Google one, 216239350. And then we go through the steps and I would like to configure the time zone. In our case, this is located in the UK. So we select Europe, number eight, and then we select number seven to uh, represent UK or Britain. And if we are happy with that, we don't, we are not FIBS here. How we go, we are good with that. We say, yes, that is why. And then that also will take time to set up, probably five, 10 minutes or so. You have to be patient. Now we log into the system. We'll provide all the uh, licenses that we require for that to work. The very first one you must always supply is the VM hard, the, you know, the, uh, the actual platform license. Um, if this was a hardware, the platform license would have been supplied to you anyway. So. Uh, here we go admin and the selected password. That's the, the GUI login. GUI login is not equal to 
the Linux login. Linux login is app admin. Here we are adding uh, the license for ClearPass. So we're adding access license on board on guard. Keep in mind, you must not exceed. So one of the things that probably people make a mistake, I selected all of them as 100, 100, 100. You need to make sure that, because that's evaluation, I have selected 100. Obviously, evaluation has limitation in terms of number of devices it supports. Here, uh, we move on to software um, update. So in version 10, actually, they have added uh, a, a different way to connect to your HPE passport. So here, you generate a token. The token gets generated, and you are logged in. It will automatically look at any update. So it will fetch the firmware, the batch updates automatically. You could, if you don't want to log in, you could have, if you wanted, import updates by going to asp.arbanetworks.com and you could download an update or updates or patches to a local server uh, and then or local machine where you manage this uh, clear pass and you could just upload the files into the clear pass. Now you can see here this upgrade that will upgrade the clear pass 10.0 to 10.5. That requires up, uh, reload. So we're going to click on the reload and you could see that it was 10.0. Now once gets this gets reloaded here, you will find app admin. We log in here and the password, the new password that we have selected. Now once you go and now we go to the GUI interface of that specific uh, clear pass instance, show IP. Now we see the IPs, the IP addresses, everything is uh, is correctly as we have expected it. Now we're looking going back and looking into. Uh, the actual version now, you notice the version now is 10, 6 .10 .5, um, and that has been upgraded as we have seen before. Now, obviously, you can upgrade other things, so you can download signature, you can download fingerprinting. Um, we will uh, probably be able to uh, download also, so like in this case, you can see we can download uh, the skin, gallery skin for the guest solution. We would just do we would just do it for future videos, but we will not touch on it this um, at this time. Um, so we downloaded it, we installed it. Now that's ready, and the whole system has been upgraded. And of course, we have not touched on the roles, plugins, uh, posture uh, profiles. We have not looked at dictionary um, download, but this is for the software because our intention was to download and upgrade from version 10.0, 6.10.0 to 6.10.5. Now to uh, install the extension, you do it from the, from the guest uh, area. Uh, here we can see under, under administrations, you'll find extensions listed in the left hand side. Click install, you see the list of supported extensions, i.e. interfacing with other systems. You can clearly see many different things here, including uh, Google uh, Secure LDAP, um, so in our case, we're just showing you one extension, which is Microsoft Intune. Click on Microsoft Intune. Obviously, we will show you some um, for, uh, another video to do that. Uh, we will show you how to integrate uh, the Intune uh, as well as Azure uh, Active Directory AAD with ClearPass and how can we get uh, information about the uh, you know the machines, how to control applications. All of these things happen in Intune. And that's part of um, Microsoft Azure service. So thank you very much, guys, and I appreciate your time. In this short video, we have explained how to download, install licenses, and upgrade uh, also enabled extension. Thank you very much. See you in future videos.